at Cardiff City 11 with a wealth of experienced first team players. Most notably saw Bamber and Greg Cunningham both clock in welcome minutes, took on the Newport County side in a behind closed doors fixture on Wednesday the 2nd of December. It was another first teamer in Josh Murphy who went close with the first real effort of the game, but Newport keeper Tom King was out quickly to intervene. Murphy was afforded another chance soon after, assuming set-piece duties with manager Neil Harris watching on, but this time his efforts skipped just wide of the upright. Newport enjoyed their own good spells in the game, showing exactly why they're top of League Two, but Saul Bamba put in a trademark challenge to thwart their first meaningful attack. The academy's new head of coaching, David Hughes, was also in attendance, as several youngsters turned in promising performances. But it was Murphy who continued to offer the biggest threat for City, this time stinging the county keeper's palms. Moments later, the same two were duelling again, but this time, from a left-footed effort, King was able to save comfortably. The game was providing purposeful minutes for the Bluebirds and a genuine test for King. Robert Glatzel the next to test the Welshman's resolve, but that save ensured the game went into the break goalless. Coach James Robery was in charge of the half-time team talk and whatever he said led to an injection of intensity early in the second half. Firstly, youngster Kieran Evans went close after exchanging a quick 1-2 at the edge of the box, but his left-footed strike was always rising. Next, Murphy showed a good turn of pace to drive through midfield, but looking for that yard of space to bend his effort around the defender, Glatzel could only force a corner. Much to the chagrin of manager Mike Flint, Newport's best chance to open the scoring was spurned from a little over six yards out. Joel Bagan failing to connect with his clearance at the back post, but thankfully, Psycho Janna's attempted finish was equally as wild. It was Evans snapping into a tackle on halfway that helped present City their next chance. Murphy finding Glatzel in the box, but the German again seeing his effort deflect off target. Cardiff were handed the chance to take the initiative soon after. Chanka Zimba fell inside the box. But Josh Murphy, involved with a neat touch in the build-up to the chance, lifted the penalty effort over the bar, much to his own annoyance. It was only a momentary reprieve from Newport though. King's rearguard finally defeated when Kieran Evans coolly slotted past him to give City a well overdue lead. The Bluebirds and Evans soon had a second. Acres of space opened up in the midfield yet again for Keenan Patton. And when King could only parry the initial effort away, the left winger was on hand to slide home number two. Suddenly, things were looking very comfortable for the young Bluebirds. And the floodgates were about to get blown wide open. Murphy putting his previous frustrations to one side with a driving run and finish of exquisite quality. City's clean sheet was threatened late on, but after being found in the box, Lewis Collins sliced his effort wide when one on one with Dylan Phillips. And that ensured the game ended with a final score of Cardiff City 3, Newport County 0. No.